So, this is actually pretty cool to me. There's this site that just opened up called OpenCritic. What they are is they're essentially uh, similar to Metacritic, whereas, you know, Metacritic aggregates a whole lot of different um, reviews from big reviewers for the most part, uh, big, small reviewers, and gives a score, a Metacritic score for uh, video games, movies, other things. So um, like an average of their score, the Rotten Tomatoes yeah. for video games. Except for what, I think Metacritic also does movies though, but oh, whatever. Okay. Um, but Rotten Tomatoes is obviously better known. Yeah, and that is the big one, yeah. I also hear that there's there's a few criticisms of Metacritic that um, is why Rotten Tomatoes is also preferred in movies. And one of the things that their address, Open Critic is addressing is that it, with Metacritic, it's not exactly an average of all the the scores that are out there. It's weighted, and it's weighted huh. by uh, by Metacritic. Metacritic decides which reviewers get better weight. So they may decide that, or which review sites get better rate, or which review companies get better rate. So they may decide that IGN gets more of a say in the score than, you know, the rev game reviewer 2000, whatever, right? Um, and so there's a lot of criticism of that because it's not a complete, because it seems to skew certain things. So games that appeal to those reviewers get higher Metacritic ratings. Um, and that influences the game industry a whole lot because apparently a lot of companies now give bonuses when for high Metacritic scores to game developers. Yeah, so you, you end up having game developers kind of skew more towards making games that they think these critics will like instead of making games that are more creative or edgy or yeah. that might appeal to a different type of audience. Yeah, they, they, they focus more on just who gets the higher weighted uh, reviews for Metacritic. Yeah, and the, the ones that get higher rated reviews uh, or weighted, they might just not like strategy RPGs, for instance, and you might. So you might start seeing, though, games that are lower rated there and you don't have a good feel for it or the reviewer doesn't have a good feel. It was just their job that day to go do that, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Or even because they do it by sight, the weighting, maybe there's, you know, these good... Uh, reviewers at IGN, but it was the intern that wrote this particular review, and it's it's skewed because of that. You know, whatever it is. Um, but so what Open Critic does is one, it seems to initially give you a real average of all the available reviews. Then it allows you to make your own aggregation based off of reviewers you like so uh, reviewers that you've seen you can read all the reviews there too but uh reviewers you've seen that agree with you that like games that you like dislike games that you like for similar reasons you can say okay let me follow that guy keep his stuff in my reviews uh and this guy and this guy like these five guys whatever as your primary um ones to make a, a aggregate review system on and then then they'll put together all the ones that you want. And it's not just based off of site. It's based off of actual reviewer on a site. Mm -hmm. um, so you can say that you want everything from Brian, Sean, Re, and... Wait, wait, wait. What did... <laughs> who? Are you trying to make up a name and say yeah. Brian, Sean, Re? So yes. Brian's the first name. Sean is the middle name and Re is the last name. Sure. Why not? Okay, okay, that's how we're going. And, I'm done derailing your topic. Go for it. And Tom Bill. And, and oh, all right. So, <laughs> all of you people like people. With first names. Yes. Okay. You really like reviewers with just first names. No, uh, gotcha. Gotcha. And it, you know, it'll make an aggregate for you based off of those two, and give you links to their reviews because that's what you've uh, curated, and then you'll get a, a more curated um, score for what you like based off of people that you trust, uh, that you trust like games that you like. And so, so you pretty much them. instead of casting the really wide net and weighting it as they will, like Metacritic, Open Critic, you pretty much, you pick people that you trust. I say, I like him as a reviewer, her as a reviewer, mm -hmm. and him as a reviewer. Let me see what they have to say about it. And it and, averages it between yeah. the people that you feel uh, 
kind of, I mean, it's kind of like music. Video games are like music. Not everybody loves every genre there, mm-hmm. and there's tons of genres out there. So it's good to be able to to almost pinpoint who you know likes these genres. So if I'm going to look at like a, a real time strategy game or uh, you know, an RPG, I'm not going to be necessarily paying attention to the same people because, you know, they have different tastes just like everybody else. But if I know this person has more of a taste in RPGs or that person has more of my taste in RTSs, I can focus more on the people that I already know I trust. Yeah, and if nothing else, it also allows you a quicker way to... Metacritic does it too, though, uh, to get two reviews that you want to see. And this will be, though, the ones, the particular ones that you want to see. Um, so this is kind of like one of those travel sites where it just kind of lines up every other travel site. It's yeah. like a review site that just lines up every other review for you yeah. so you don't have to go anywhere else. Yeah. Which is nice, um, too. It's nice to have it all in one place. So you can and, read and if you them. want just the average of everything that they have, they do have that. That's the default thing that if you go to a video game, it'll have that score just real quick. Um but yeah, you can get the the curated version. Um, the one thing I would say I don't know how they would get around it. The one thing that I would say is missing is scores from those that do video reviews. Because I know I follow a lot of guys that do video reviews, and we are I don't we know are on to... YouTube here. We do watch a lot of video reviews of things. That's for sure. Yeah, and I don't know how they're going to get that in i don't i didn't see any video reviews just even linked when i was going through and i don't think that they show up on metacritic either but no. i assume that they have to go through all the different sites and just find where the score box is and put that in um but i uh, you can't really do that if it's all in video if they don't if they don't list it on their site as anything so yeah, and to be honest with you i do like to watch video reviews too because it also gives you an inkling into gameplay yeah when you read reviews don't get me wrong, I read plenty of reviews. Uh, they do give you screenshots, but it's nice to actually see what they're talking about while they're talking about it, because a lot of those video reviews can show you, like, okay, we like this because of this type of mechanic, and then showing you how that works, or we didn't like it because of that mechanic, and then showing you where it goes wrong. So, it, 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 you're right, they do need a video reviewer thing. I mean, at least YouTube channels. There's plenty of really big mm-hmm. YouTube channels out there that do reviews yeah. that they could go for. I, yeah, and I don't know how they would get that information into their system anyway i i heard no, they'd have to have somebody watch the videos and and post and the a score based on, well that's yeah. the thing but yeah and i think that they've said uh, or that what i've heard is that they do include reviewers that don't necessarily give a score um they just don't go into the they don't go into the the average making but you can put them in your set and you can click on and look at the reviews along with your score mm-hmm. if you want um it would be a lot of work, I think, to get the, the videos in there. It's just, it is something that I find lacking in these. But still, uh, if you get it set up nicely with the text reviewers that you like, um, it does provide a nice quick way to check out different games and say, decide, hey, do I want to pick this up real quick or do I want to hold off or do I want to pass on, on this particular game that just All came together. out or came out Because it is true. I mean, it's hard to decide sometimes where your game dollars should go because you're talking about $60. Now, it's not a huge investment, $60, but you don't want to go out and spend you know, $60 for a game and then not like it and then not want to play it and then go out and spend another $60 for a game and then maybe not like it. You want to spend that $60 on something that you're going to keep and you're going to want to play for a while. And I've definitely you know, played games that I read one source really loved it and i was like yeah that was not not really worth it or didn't really hit where i cared about or i could Mm -hmm. even see from the review that they obviously care about things that i don't so it didn't really give me an accurate picture of what i wanted and i've played games that don't really have a very high uh, aren't well reviewed by the big uh players anyway but that i absolutely loved so 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 if you're looking for a new review site that kind of gives you more of a uh, tailored to you review than a site like Metacritic. Check out Open Critic. It's out there. I'm guessing OpenCritic.com. OpenCritic.com. Yep. Dot com. So, check it out. Uh, and you know, maybe you'll start finding games that you like more based on the tailored reviews for you. And you know where to put. You have a little more confidence in where you're putting that, that those gaming bucks. But uh, yeah. So hit us up. Let us know what you think. Is it even necessary to have another review site that conglomerate? Uh, 
yeah, conglomerates all of the other smaller review sites. So hit us up, let us know, comments down below. Of course, at Words My Face on Twitter, Google Plus and Facebook, always good ways of getting a hold of us.